I'm gonna try and start a 3D printing business in just five days. Right now, there are thousands of 3D printing businesses making hundreds of thousands of dollars online. And I've never used a 3D printer before, but I had nothing to do this weekend, so I decided to try and start my own 3D printing business to see how easy it is. I'll be taking you through the entire process from getting a 3D printer to designing and printing your products to advertising. And at the end of this video, I'll be showing you exactly how much money I made. Okay, so the first thing to figure out before starting a 3D printing business or really any kind of business is to find a niche. Niche, niche, niche. This means figuring out who our customer is or who we want to buy our products in order to figure out what to actually make. 3D printing is a pretty saturated market now, so it's really important to niche down and find that specific target audience that we want to sell to. Let's do some research. The plan is to sell my 3D printed products on Etsy, an online marketplace that focuses on handmade or craft goods. While buyers on Etsy buy a lot of 3D printed products, you can't just list random things and hope that they'll sell. I'll need to research niches, look through Etsy search results, as well as research trending keywords. Because after an afternoon of research, I've narrowed it down to two specific niches I'm considering. Valorant gaming products and motorcycle enthusiast products. These might seem really random, so let me explain. I looked at two main factors when choosing a niche to start my business in. First, the niche had to be unique enough to avoid too much competition, yet have a large enough or passionate community of potential customers to sell to. And second, since I'll be 3D printing all the products by myself, the products in the niche had to require very minimal effort besides the actual printing, so I couldn't make anything that required gluing, sanding, or painting. I only have a few days for this challenge and all of those things would have taken too much time to produce. Valorant gaming products and motorcycle enthusiast products checked both of these requirements. And as a bonus, I have friends in both of these niches so I can validate my product ideas with them first. Yo, so long. Yo, what's happening, bro? Yo, so I'm thinking about starting a 3D printing business. Would you be down to buy 3D printed motorcycle parts? Are you serious, bro? Yeah. Nah, fam, good luck losing all the money, bro. Well, looks like Valorant products it is. And I think I found the perfect product, Riot Gun Buddy Keychains. If you don't know anything about Valorant, it's a video game created by a company called Riot Games. And in the game, there's something called a Riot Gun Buddy. It's the rarest item in the game and near impossible to attain for most players, but everyone wants one. So I thought, why not make it into a physical product that I could sell? All right, so to actually make this product, do I first need to learn to 3D model and then spend thousands of dollars on a 3D printer? Nope. Thanks to Anchor Make. Let's go ahead and set this up. Anchor Make makes 3D printing incredibly easy for beginners with their entry level and high speed 3D printers. And I'm happy to say they're also a sponsor of today's video. AnchorMake was kind enough to send me their new AnchorMake M5C printer, which is designed to be usable with just one click, even if you've never used a 3D printer before like myself. So all of this might seem a bit daunting to beginners, but this is my first time touching a 3D printer, and all of this took me less than 10 minutes to set up. AnchorMake also simplifies the creation process because all I need to do is find a 3D file of whatever I want to print online, import it into their native software, and then everything is automatically set on this printer and wirelessly transmitted. Now let's try printing our first product. Well, first let's go on Google to do some market research and find some 3D models for what I'm trying to print. I found the perfect one on Thingiverse and it doesn't have a commercial license, which means I'm free to download it, 3D print it, and then sell it. I've already loaded up the AnchorMake M5C printer with some white filament, so we'll just open up the AnchorMake app on my laptop, send it to my printer, and then start it with one click. All right, here's the printer in action. This footage is sped up three times, but the printer is honestly super fast at printing. Each piece only took around two to five minutes each. And I know I said I wanted a no glue 3D print, but this is the best looking model I found online and it comes in three pieces for the different colors. It just requires one step of gluing here, but still it was pretty easy to put together just like that. Okay, so we successfully printed our first keychain and honestly, it looks pretty good. I'd probably consider buying it myself if I saw it in a store just as like a random gift. But convincing people to buy things online is a completely different story. So let's go and try and get some sales. So as I mentioned, we'll be using the Etsy marketplace to try and sell our products. And the most important driver of sales on Etsy are product photos. They should be high quality and professional looking and in this case, resonate with Valorant gamers. Next, we'll need to come up with a convincing title, description and tags to help people find my product on Etsy and then convince them to buy it. Since we're low on time, I decided to use my friend ChatGPT to help us write these. And since I'm just starting out, I'm intentionally pricing my product lower on Etsy to try and undercut the other sellers. Lastly, let's just put this on sale so it seems more appealing. And since most people play Valorant with a group of friends, I'm going to offer a bundle of five gun buddies for an unbeatable deal. Now let's leave this overnight and see how it does. Okay, so it's been two days since we listed our product on Etsy and we got 
zero sales and only nine total views. That's okay, there are a few competitors and we're just getting started. But we also didn't really do any marketing yet, so let's make some TikTok content to market our product and also make our Etsy page look a little bit better. Okay, so I'm filming some TikTok content here and trying to make one of the clips go viral. And this is an example of one of the marketing videos I came up with. Let's leave these overnight and check in tomorrow. All right, today's the fifth and final day of the challenge. Let's see if our TikToks got us any sales. So it looks like we got a bit more views from TikTok, but still no sales yet. And we are on our last day. We might have to step it up here, but I have a plan. So I mentioned I have a lot of friends who are in the Valorant gaming niche. So I messaged a bunch of them and showed my Etsy link while saying something like, hey, we should all get this cool keychain. Some people weren't the biggest fans, but to my surprise, I got a few receptive responses. And now the waiting game begins. All right, guys, you won't believe what just happened, but we made our first sale on Etsy. Actually, I didn't check for most of today and it's already 10 p.m., but we actually made two sales today, which I gotta say is much better than no sales. With the two keychains sold, I earned a total revenue of $20.10, but we have a bunch of expenses and here we go. So I spent $51.97 on filament, $10 on keychain rings, another $6 on glue, plus $3.10 on Etsy fees, bringing our total profit to negative $51.53. Yeah, so I definitely didn't make a profit off of my 3D printing business in just five days, but I wouldn't say it's not possible because I've only used maybe 1% of the filament and supplies that I bought. If I didn't include those, we would have made a net profit of $17 in just a few days with no paid advertising. So I don't think I'll keep this 3D printing business going, but I do think that a 3D printer is a great way to explore your hobbies, your interests, and to print things to make your life more convenient. Or you can give starting a 3D printing business a try. Whatever you do, definitely check out the links in the description to learn more about the Anchor Make M5C printer. It really is a good choice if you've never used a 3D printer before. Thanks so much for watching until the end. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more tech videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.